Hello and welcome to my snack review for the June edition of My Box. Uh, in front of us today we have, well, a variety of snacks, but this is the first one that I'm going to be eating. And that is the raspberry liqueur. Now if you haven't seen my unboxing of the June My Box, um, I'll leave a link probably at the bottom or something for you guys to check it out. Um, it was a confusing one because it didn't come with any anything that kind of explained what was in there. Um, but, ooh, okay, so there's there's two levels of packaging. So this is by Lotte. Don't know how easy that is to see. Lot, Lotte, I never know how to pronounce them. But, you know, they, they make pretty good chocolates and stuff. I've had quite a few Lot things before. And we've got this lovely thing that also advertises that I could have just saved time by showing you this. Um, ooh, okay, wow, this is well packed. Um, I'm very curious to see how liqueur these liqueurs are, if that makes sense, because liqueur is meant to be an alcoholic thing. I know I know you can get non-alcoholic liqueur chocolates, I think. I mean, to be fair, most chocolates, even if they have a bit of alcohol in, aren't going to affect you. Ooh, are they all like... Yeah, yeah, hmm. No, not quite. Okay. So these ones don't have as much of a dimple. But yeah, that's, uh, that's a dimpled little bit of chocolate. Uh, right, I'm going to take a bite and see what it's like. All right, I'm showing you an appetising mid-bite. Um, I can't quite tell if it is alcohol or something. There's a little bit of a kick to something. And have this other half. Yeah, I'm I'm genuinely, I can't tell really. Um, th there's a, definitely like a small little kick of something that tastes a bit kind of ethanol -y, you know, as you would with alcohol, but I don't think it is. I'm going to have one more just to actually test, because genuinely you can barely tell. Like, the raspberry flavour there and the chocolate is really nice, but you can't really tell if it's alcohol. I, I don't think it's alcoholic, but I don't know. I'll give this a test. All right, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it isn't alcoholic. Um, it is just very pleasant. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, the, the chocolate is delicious. It's really like creamy and stuff, um, and a little, quite thick in a nice way. Um, and yeah, the, the raspberry stuff inside is quite nice as well. It's not like overpowering, but it, it's nice enough that when it mixes with the chocolate, you get kind of raspberry chocolate flavour, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, pretty darn nice. I like the um, packaging it all comes in as well. It sort of, it looks very classy, as it were. Um, yeah. Not sure I'd particularly buy one of these if I saw one in like a Japanese supermarket or something. But you know, it's um it is perfectly nice. So if you are looking for raspberry liqueurs that are possibly non-alcoholic, but don't take my word for it, you could go worse than getting these. I don't know if liqueurs are very popular, but you know, it was it was nice. Anyway, on to the next snack. Alright, it's time for Pucci do Gioco. Um yeah, I don't know what Pucci exactly is. That is Pucci, I believe, because that's Gioco. Um, yeah, it's a chocolate donut thing. Now, it sounds hard, but I don't know if it's actually the plastic or if it's the sweet itself. So I don't know if this is going to be a gummy thing or, oh, it looks kind of gummy, maybe. Uh, interesting intro. Um, can, oh, wait, no. Yo, this is actually just chocolate, I think. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is just straight up chocolate. Cool. Um, right, cool. I'm going to take a bite. Hmm. Okay. There was a lot going on there. Um, so what I didn't realise, there was biscuit in the middle. Um, and there's also like two, there's two different chocolates. So there's kind of like white chocolate and there's like dark chocolate. Oh dear, it's crumbling. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, it's, hmm, it's interesting. It, it, it's not the best. The chocolate, like both types of chocolate don't combine very well. And they both kind of taste a bit cheap. Um, I mean, obviously, this probably in Japan costs less than, you know, a dollar or whatever. Um, so, you know, it's understandable. It's not going to be really high quality stuff. But, yeah, it's kind of, eh, it's okay. Um, I don't think I'd, I'd buy one or whatever. Like, the dark chocolate has a weird aftertaste. Um, it's not super bad, but it's not great either. It's kind of, eh, yeah. Okay, cool. On to the next product. All right, it's time for the chestnut Kit Kat. Um, interesting choice of flavour here. Also, on the back, uh, you can give this as a gift to someone. Dear, from. Don't know why you'd want to do that. Anyway, I've gone ahead and kind of cracked the box a little bit, just so we can open this up. 
Uh, hey, there we go. So let's peel it back, and I think there should be three inside. Yeah, there's two in there. Ooh, yo, I like the packaging. So this is chestnut Kit Kat. Very nice. Those are some chestnuts, nice and polished. Um, don't don't need polished chestnuts. Um, and yeah, and it says on the back, have a break, have a Kit Kat. Uh, I was doing a, uh, an audience participation, Door of the Explorer-esque thing there, but um, I realised I can't actually hear you guys. Anyway, um, hey, there we go. Right, I kind of want to open it in a nice manner. Let's peel open the back. Ooh, and it's very white. Now, notice most of these flavoured Kit Kats actually do tend to have white chocolate. I don't know if it's because it's like easier to keep the flavour or something. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to snap her in half. It's a regular Kit Kat. It has the Kit Kat logo, I think. It's very hard. Very hard to see it because it's on white chocolate. Anyway, I'm going to give it a bite. Hmm. That is the... Honestly, <laughs> honestly, that's the blandest Kit Kat I've ever eaten. I'm going to eat this other part because the chocolate's melting. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm not sold on that, to be honest. The... The Kit Kat itself, the biscuity thing is fine, and the chocolate is quite smooth and stuff, but um, I don't know, it's weird. Like, I'm getting a really small hint of vanilla, I think, and like maybe a nutty kind of aftertaste, but yeah, honestly, that, it, mm, yeah, okay, that's, I've, mm, I'd, I honestly, I'd say below average, actually. The, the quality and everything, it's, you know, it's up to the standards of a regular Kit Kat, but, um, yeah, I don't know, just the, I don't, I don't taste any nut at all, you know, regardless if it's chestnut or something. It's just a bit vanilla -y and the chocolate's kind of nice, that, yeah, it's alright. Uh, right, on to the next one. Alright, so now open this five pack of sweets. Now, also, I'd like to point out something I've realised. Um, there are actually stickers that describe exactly what these are. So these are particularly Meiji Mix Chocolate. Um, it's five little boxes of them. So I think on most products, if not all of them, they at least give like a brief description. So uh, in the video I made that kind of complained a bit that there was no information sheet. Uh, I was in the wrong, I just hadn't really looked. Uh, so I do apologise for that. I'm trying... Hang on, be right back. Hey, there we are. I got the scissors and I cracked it open. So I'm going to start from the right uh, and have the first box here. Now, I think I've tried most of these in their large forms. I think. Oh, wow, yeah, these boxes are tiny. Very cute, though. Um, I do like when they make mini versions. So this is Meiji Marburu or uh, Marble. Marble chocolate. There we are. So yeah, how do you these just these just open like regular? Ooh, there's a puzzle on the back as well. Sushi. I I think that says sushi. Anyway, yeah, that makes sense. Um for a second I thought there was like a milk bottle or something, but yeah, sushi. Um written in hiragana. Right, so inside is some marble chocolate. Ooh, they're kind of like smarties, although I appreciate smarties in the US are different. In the UK, Smarties are basically this. They're kind of shells with chocolate inside. So I'm going to give a bite to one of them. So yeah, there we go. It's um, chocolate and inside. Hmm, that is... That is fine. Um, th there's not much more to say, to be honest. Uh, marble chocolate is just... It's crispy shells with chocolate inside. Chocolate is nice. The shells are nice. There's no real flavour with them, to be honest. It is just sugar and a bit of chocolate. But they're not bad, either. You know, if I saw a pack and I was in the mood for chocolate like this, I'd probably give Meiji Marble Chocolate a try. Yeah, not bad. Cool. On to the next thing. Alright, time for the second chocolate in the Meiji collection. And this time, if I can get out, we have Apollo. Or Apollo, hang on, wait. There we go. Um, yeah, so Apollo chocolate. Um, they're kind of shaped like cones, and I think that's their mascot or something, and I think they're strawberry flavour, usually. I don't think I've had any Apollo chocolates before that weren't strawberry. I think I've had the large version before. They're, they're pretty nice. Um, you know, ah, there we are, cool. 
So yeah, we've got a little cone, basically, of chocolate and strawberry kind of flavoured stuff. Um, right, I'm going to pop this in my mouth. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to bite this in half to show you guys, but uh, BRB. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so um, it's been a while since I've had one of these, actually. It's fine. It's um, it's pretty nice. It's definitely slightly more um, flavourful than the um, marble chocolate, because... This at least does have a bit of a strawberry thing. I will say the chocolate's a little bit waxy, if that makes sense. It's sort of, it's not, I don't know, it's it's not the best kind of quality chocolate. There's a hit of strawberry, but I think these things are so small, you'd have to have like three or four of them um, to really get the same flavour. And they're cute and everything, but honestly, I think I'd have preferred just a larger box of maybe just this and one of the other things as opposed to five of these, but yeah, it's a nice kind of taster thing. Um, yeah, I'm just going to have another one quickly. So yeah, I'll let that one melt in my mouth a little bit, just to try and really get the flavour out. Um, I'll be honest, the strawberry thing, the more I taste it, the less strawberry it tastes, and the more kind of like fruity in general it tastes, as in like, you could have told me this was like grape or something, and I'd have probably tasted the same kind of thing. Um, yeah, they're not bad. Uh, you know, Meiji chocolate is definitely one of the best Japanese um, kind of chocolate things. But yeah, in terms of in terms of sweets, the mini Meiji um, Apollo chocolate is meh, it's okay. It's better than the marble one, but just about. Anyway, on to the next one. I interrupt this uh, small little chocolate segment to crack open a can of Emerald Mountain Blend, which is a coffee thing. This is the can I got in the Amai box um, with the Zigok Chars Custom. Uh, it's a small can. I've had this before actually, before it was branded. I've brought a little um, glass as well, so I'm going to open it. Um, I didn't get much sleep last night, back and forth, no particular reason. I just didn't sleep very well, so this morning I'm feeling a bit groggy, so hey, let's have a bit of coffee. Um, I will I will be honest, I'm not a big coffee drinker. I prefer tea. However, occasionally I do like a bit of coffee just as a kind of a bit of a kick and for the flavour, so I'm gonna give it a bit of a try. Mmm, that is that is really nice, actually. Uh the smell is phenomenal. Um it's sort of like the quintessential coffee smell. Um and yeah, the taste, it's like it's quite smooth. Obviously it's cold, it's just come out of the fridge. Um I guess you could drink it like room temperature, but I, I personally wouldn't. I quite like cold coffee kind of from a can. It's just something special about it. And yeah, it's like super smooth. You've got the hit of coffee. Um, being as I'm not super, super into coffee, I couldn't tell you guys how good quality this is. But honestly, this is really nice. Um, yeah, Emerald Blend, I... Emerald, sorry, Emerald Mountain Blend. I wouldn't like go out of my way to buy you one of these, but I mean, the cans alone are really cool. I'm going to keep these cans, um, both that and I've got Charles uh, Zaku too, as well. I'm going to be keeping that on my kind of shelf of Japanese things. But yeah, no, definitely, um, definitely a solid coffee thing, and hopefully it'll perk me up for the rest of this video, which I'll be filming over several days, so that's not going to work. Anyway, on to the next thing. All right, it's time for the third box of small chocolate treats, and that is Choco Baby. Uh, Choco Baby. Um, I I'll be honest with you guys, I don't know what this is. Uh, nice illustration thing at the back, maybe. Um, it looks like maybe it's like small chocolate fudge things, or like a um. Tootsie Roll, is it? That I've, I've had like one once. Uh, they, they don't sell them over here in the UK, so I had to have it from import. But it was alright. So yeah, they're small, very small chocolate capsule things. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, that's a weird one, because that just tastes of chocolate. It's kind of like the chocolate from the other Meiji chocolate things, but there's nothing else going on with it. It is just chocolate flavoured. And again, it's like slightly waxy, in a sense. Um, I'm maybe getting a hint of fudge or something, but I can't quite tell. Um, yeah, not gonna lie, that is really average. I suppose I'd eat them if I was given them, but I don't think I'd buy Choco Baby. Um, 
yeah, that was okay. I'd give it like a 4 or a 10, maybe. Uh, right, on to the next one. Alright, it is time for the fourth one. Now, I don't actually know what the name of this one is, so I'm quite curious to see it. Uh, oh, stuck on or something. Okay, so there is no English, but this is Gumi Moko, I think, maybe? Um, that's definitely Gumi. I don't know, but it's basically it's Ichigo flavour, it says there. Um, yeah, oh, there we are. We have a lovely teddy and some stuff and ammo. Mocha. Mocha? I don't know what that is. Anyway, let's dive in. So it looks like they're small like chocolate things with a bit of gummy inside. Uh, oh, they're actually larger than I thought they'd be. Especially in this mini, mini packaging. Right, I'm going to go and take a bite. Doesn't quite look like the illustration admittedly, but uh, indeed it is very gummy inside. It's quite an interesting texture as well. Also, sorry, whilst I was eating this, I, <laughs> I realised that just says choco. Gummy Choco, because um, that is Chi and your Choco. Um, yeah, damn, that is really nice, actually. Um, annoyingly, this box doesn't have too many in them, so I'm going to have to really ration these. But um, yeah, this is definitely my favourite so far, because um, it honestly, like, gummy chocolate things are quite rare. And I, I really like them. They sort of got that weird texture that just works really well. Um, yeah, damn, this is really good, actually. Um, I would actually genuinely buy a full box of these if and when I find them, so I keep an eye out, actually, because I've never tried these before, but um, fast becoming one of my favourite snacks I had in a while. Anyway, we got one left. It is a coffee bean, so stay tuned, because I need that next. It's time for the last one. So we've got coffee bean. I think it's coffee bean anyway, or coffee beet. Oh, it is coffee beet. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, and coffee beeto. Um, interesting. Ah, and what do we have on the back? It is, ah, oh, it's a nice lion theme park thing. Oh, okay, cool. Anyway, yeah, th now this I've actually been looking forward to the most out of the five packs. That's why I opened it from right to left. Um, because whilst I'm not a massive fan of coffee, like drinking coffee in general, um, coffee flavoured chocolate, I really like for some reason, and I don't, I don't know why exactly. I don't hate coffee, but I'm more of a tea drinker. Uh, oh, they do actually look like coffee beans, which is interesting. There we are, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's got an interesting shape. Um, right, cool, I'm gonna pop one in my mouth. Hmm, that was pretty darn nice, actually. Um, so they're hard shell kind of things, they're a bit like the, uh, marble chocolate. But obviously the chocolate itself kind of tastes like, um, it's a bit of a black coffee, maybe? Although it is a bit milky as well, so it's not a black coffee, because that would have no milk. But yeah, um, damn, overall that is pretty darn nice. Now I've not had that kind of coffee sweet before. I've had a coffee flavoured chocolate, but I don't know, there's something different about this. It's quite nice actually, it reminds me of um, the canned coffee that you get in Japan sometimes. It's kind of like chilled and stuff, which is pretty good. Yeah, overall, um, this is pretty darn good. I'd say this is the second best out of the five. The, um, oh, I can't remember what the other one was called. No, the jelly one, the kind of uh, jelly chocolate one I had previously. That was definitely the best, I think. But this is a pretty decently close second. I'd probably buy a box of uh, coffee beet chocolate, maybe. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And that also ends the Meiji 5 pack. Um, so yeah, I'm on to a different thing now. What am I going to eat next? Who knows? But you'll know right now. It is time to excavate some chocolate. Let's see. Sentence I didn't think I'd ever say. Um, yeah, so today we have the, um, I don't actually know the name of it, unfortunately, because it's in kanji, but I will put it at the bottom of the screen here for what this is. This is like a dinosaur chocolate thing um and i think it's got like crispiness or something inside now i think that's probably white chocolate and that's dark like regular milk chocolate or maybe that's biscuit i don't know um so that's the triceratops but however on the back there are different ones there's stegosaurus triceratops iguanodon pterodactyl t-rex and a mystery one um I'd like the mystery one, but we'll see what we get, really. Um, this is quite an interesting one. So it comes in a plastic tray. I don't know exactly how it works. Do you just kind of, like, 
pull off the other pieces or something. I'm opening it slowly. Hopefully it hasn't like broken up in transit, but this did come from Japan, so there is the chance. What did we go? Oh, we got the Iguanodon. Okay, cool. I think that's the Iguanodon. Anyway, let me double check. So this is indeed the Iguanodon. I think it's level one. Um, as the uh, Kana there says, Reberu one. Um, as is the Triceratops, and then the uh, uh, sorry, uh, Stegosaurus, the Triceratops, Pterodactyl, and T Rex are level two, and that is level question mark. Interesting. All right. Well, without further ado, let's. Um, break him out of his prison, I guess. So, oh yeah, okay. So that's the kind of tray it comes in. Um, and you can kind of feel on the back, actually, this is all, cr um, it's like a crunky bar, basically. Uh, like a crispy thing. Um, right, cool. So does he, no, oh, okay. So I do kind of have to snap it. Oh, I feel bad about doing this now, but that is the whole thing. Oh, look, there's a little fossil thing there. Right, let's give it a try. Hey, kind of. Right, okay, so I just got to kind of snap it all off, I suppose. I'll be back in a second. All right, there he is done. Um, now, there are parts there, and like by his neck and between his legs, you could snap off or whatever, but I don't know how I'd be able to do that without like a knife or something. So I'm just not going to bother, to be honest. Right, I'm going to give a try to some of this like chocolate. Um, yeah, it looks like crispy stuff, as you can see inside, so I'm going to give it a try. Yeah, that, that was that was pretty decent, actually. Um, I wouldn't say it's quite on level with the Crunky bar. I think the chocolate in Crunky and the, um, the kind of crispy parts are a little bit better, but the, these aren't bad, to be honest. They're, they're quite nice. Um, and yeah, crispy chocolate bars are quite hard to come by, really, so that's pretty decent. Now... So this is basically the same bar thing, but it's got some white chocolate on top of it as well. So I'm going to go bite off his tail and see if I can taste a difference. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Um, I couldn't really tell the difference, to be honest. I'm sure after I eat all of it, I will maybe. But white chocolate generally, it's alright, but it's never had a ton of appeal to me because the taste isn't... It's not as strong as milk chocolate, really, or dark chocolate. Um, so yeah, I... You can mildly tell there's some extra chocolate in with it, but for the most part it does just feel like this with maybe a little bit of extra thickness or something. It's pretty nice overall though, I, I like the appeal of it, the kind of like breaking it um, out of, you know, the kind of ground and stuff. Um, it does bother me that really you can't get it all out. It would be cool if they'd like slotted the chocolate together somehow and like it broke off clean, but you know. For what it is, to be honest, it's, it's a cool looking piece of chocolate, isn't it? You know, that that does look like a kind of anime dinosaur skeleton thing. Um, as you'd find in Dinosaur King? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, that was a fun one. So I think that's going to wrap up this episode. As you noticed, a lot of the videos were from the previous uh, My Crate, uh, My Box, that I didn't, I didn't film because the video corrupted. But... Stay tuned as I will be uploading another one full of like loads of other snacks and stuff in a couple of weeks time or whatever. Um, and yeah, so let me know what your favourite from these are. Have you tried any of these? Um, also, if you've got any suggestions or whatever to try in different snack box, let me know because I'm, I'm always up for trying that and stuff as well. But yeah, um, thanks very much for watching and until next time, goodbye.